What's up? It's your boy. I'm back again. Cars going by, making a noise, but we still talking, so y'all know what it is. So, I haven't been wheeling as much lately, so I figured I'd take this opportunity to do some upgrades to the JK, JK, and the JT, JT back there with the hood on. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do to the JK is because we got grandkids, you know what I'm saying? I'm old as dirt. I ain't ashamed of it. I claim it, I own it. And uh, because of them, it gets a little cramped in the Jeep sometimes. So I said, hey, how about a third row seat in a JK? So I went on to the old intranet, did a little research, and I found a kit that you can put a third row seat in a JK. I know it's been going on for years. People been doing this for years. I got it, blah, blah, blah. But hey, ain't been done to mine. So guess what? We gonna do this together. Now, I know it's some of y'all out there that's done this before. You've probably done it quite a few times. I ain't never done it. So this is something new for me to do. A new upgrade, mod, whatever you want to call it, who cares? We doing something. And um, like always, we learn from each other. So if some of y'all veterans out there have done this before, you got something that'll help me. Maybe I decide to do it to another Jeep in the future. You got a tip, a suggestion to make things a little bit better or a little bit easier next time, by all means. Put it in the comments box down below, suggestion box or whatever, because you might help the next person who want to do this. But if you're not and you like me, and this is your first time doing it, my first time seeing it, guess what? We're going to hook this thing up and learn this thing together. So let's get into it. Put my glasses back on because y'all know I can't see. So the first thing I did was went to the internet, found the bracket that you need for this, ordered it. It was like 80, 90 bucks, something like that. So I got that. Then it said that you needed to have a 2007 to a 2017 two-door JKC. Found that. One of my buddies up uh, here in Florida where I am, he got a few Jeeps out there. He put one up for sale, seat out of his old JK, well, one of his JKs. And I said, hey, let me get that. Went and got it from him, and boom, I got it. Now it's gray. The interior on the, gray, on the JK here is black, but I got some seat covers to make them all match. That's what we're gonna do. It's third row seat, man, who cares? It's gonna look good, though. That's all that matters. So here we go. Now, one of the things that was gonna make me nervous for getting this kit is because I read the reviews and it said that these things got horrible directions or some of them didn't even come with directions. So I haven't even opened this thing up, but I'm hoping there's something in there that'll make this a little bit easier. Can't find my knife, so I got another knife. We getting into this box one way or the other. Tell me that don't look good. If anything, it look good. I don't care how it fit, though. I do care how it fit. So, here we go. So it comes with both of the brackets, for both sides. It comes with all the bolts, rib nuts. Good thing I got a rib nut tool. So a nut shirt, I meant. Other bolts, all the stuff. But one thing it didn't come with, y'all know what I'm talking about, it ain't come with no directions. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna go look up the directions to this thing. Now, if you've done it before, you're probably saying, you ain't gotta look at no directions. It's easy and simple. Yeah, well guess what? I ain't never done it before, so your boy gonna go look up the directions. I'm gonna come back, gonna put this in. Now, if the sunlight fades on us and the moon catches up to us, we're gonna have to come back to y'all tomorrow. Cause I ain't got a lot of time on working with y'all. I know the sun starts fading early. So, we're going to see. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back. We ready. We should be ready to rock this thing. You know what I'm saying? So, check it out. Your boy done went in there, hopped on the old HP printer, wasted up about $5 an ink. We got some instructions, and I done looked at them. So, we should be good there. We got ratchets. Let's wreck this. We got drills. We got drill bits. Hold on. Hold up. And we got nuts here too. So we should be ready to make this thing happen. 
Hopefully I can get this done before the sunlight goes out and we ain't got no light. We gonna do, drill running. We gonna do this y'all, so let's go. I got a slipstream in this thing, so I guess I'm about to take that out too. In case y'all don't know what a slipstream is, it's a cool thing. You get some brackets, they mount over there. Um, the front panel mounts up there, and there's a piece that goes over the top. So when you're running topless, you can securely start, store your stuff up under here. Nobody can get through it. Get to it. Yeah, I know I pissed it off there. And then there's a panel right there to get a key to it. You can unlock it so you can access your stuff through there. But the panel, when it comes down, it goes under the lip of the back gate so that when the gate is shut, it can't access it. So if you go topless and you out at the grocery store, so I'm picking up your groceries because y'all know that's what we do in Jeeps. You can uh, put all your stuff up under there, all your soccer stuff, you can throw that up under there, lock it, boom, bam, bing. On the way back from the trail, nobody can touch it. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back to it. Gotta move tailgate seal because you gotta measure it from the back of the well seam. Tape measure. All right, so here's what we got going on. So the direction said, from the back, it has to be seven inches from the outside of the pinch weld right there. From the rear of that. Five and a quarter inches from the body wall, which is there. And an inch and three quarter not from the edge of it, but from the top of the rib. So you'll see it's at the inch and three quarter at the very top of the rib. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mark the holes with this. A little thing I got off of Amazon a while back, and it's specifically designed for making circles in tight holes like these. And it's got that long stem on there, and just makes it easy. And we'll go in, Drill the holes out, and uh, we're gonna put these nut turrets in there. So let me get to it. All right, what's up, y'all? So I'm back. The sun did go down on me yesterday, so I worked a little bit in the dark. I didn't record because, well, I mean, it was dark. I had to wear a headlamp and other lights, but I wanted to get as much done as possible. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game, but I'm gonna show you what I did, just so y'all ain't lost. All right, so y'all already know about the left bracket and just so you know this thing is marked it has an L right there and this one has an R right there for a left and right so we already talked about the left bracket where we had to measure seven inches from here to the pinch seam back there and it was one and three quarter from there to the ridge line and five and a quarter from there to there now this is why you gotta read the directions. You think that, okay, I'll do the same thing and measure over there. No, it's completely different. And the reason it's different is because it still has to be the correct distance across for the seat to fit. So instead of just measuring from over there, what they have you to do is, you still measure the seven inches You still measure the seven inches from there to the well seam, but you don't measure from there and there. You measure from here all the way across there. As you can see, 34 and a quarter. And then you go up here, do the same thing, and it should measure 34 and a quarter across there and you'll have your distance. And so that's what we did. Now, you have to mark the holes just like on the other side and drill the holes and you put your nut certs in. Now here's the deal. Before you put these nut certs in, you take and put a little bit of silicone around the nut cert itself. Then you insert it in. 
Use your fancy dancy nuts or tool and put it in there. Keep moisture out, whatever else. All right, I got both of the side pieces of the slipstream out. Let's test fit this seat, see if it fits. And if it does, we can go ahead and start putting the carpet back in, putting the side panels back in, getting everything in. Looking like it's supposed to look. All right, so mainly what I'm checking for is to make sure the brackets are the right distance apart. I mean, at this point, I put all the bolts in, so kind of screwed if not, but that's just what I want to check for because I haven't even put the bolts in the bracket where the seat will clip into. I just want to make sure that these, the hinges on the seat fit right in the bracket where they're supposed to go. If they do, then I'm good. And I can go ahead and put the bolts in. Well, I probably won't because I'm gonna put the carpet and everything back in first to make sure they stick up through it. And then I'll put the bolts in where these hinges are gonna latch to. And we'll bolt it down. I gotta get this cleaned up anyway. Got a seat cover for it, so let's see. Now it's hard for y'all to see, but if you look right there, you'll see where the hinge sits in between the bracket, way up front. You can't see that one, but it does sit in there. And you can see right there where that one sits in there. So it's where I need it to be. I could take this seat back out and start doing everything else. I got the brackets bolted in, I got the carpet in, but I wanna show you something real quick that's pretty cool actually. So let me show you something. So here's where the holes are, where the seats will bolt. Well, where these will bolt into and the seat will, the hinges will come down on these bolts like that, right? So check this out. If you'll notice, there's three holes per bracket on each side. Now, you really can't mess it up and there's three bolts per side. You have two of the larger size and one of the smaller ones. Now, you really can't mess this up because look, hole, Oh, won't fit. These are smaller. Fit, too big, too big. Here's why. So if you want to face the seat one way, cause this is the same thing. Fit, don't fit, fit, fit. So if you want to face the seat one way, you put both of these the larger bolts up front and you put the smaller bolt here. Tighten up the nuts on each one of them See, hinges come down, clamp onto it, boom. But what if you wanna face the seat the other way? Instead of facing forward, you want it to face rearward. Too easy. Take these out, put that in the smaller hole right there. Put that one there, that one there. And guess what? You could turn the seat around the other way. Pretty cool. All right, y'all, almost finished with this thing. And to be honest, it's really not that complicated of a job. Just gotta read the directions. So before I put the seat in, let me show you what we got. All right, there's all the panels and everything back in. Um, front carpet, back piece, tray still under there. Um, I did have to cut the plastic panels over here to fit around that put around that so if you're one of them people that's skittish about cutting your stuff it ain't for you but i did because it doesn't bother me and i probably could have did a better job of cutting it especially right up around there around the corner but hey the seat's gonna be on top of it anyway so i ain't even stressing it but that's what we got everything back where it's supposed to be now we're gonna put this seat in so let's get it Seat's great, but I ain't really worried about it. Got seat covers for that, so I even trip it. There, man. Man. Sat right down in there. Alright. See 
what we work. Ooh. Yes, sir. Let's see what it looks like from the front. So, this it, y'all. Got it in. Fits in the bracket perfectly. Carpeted everything back in. Hey, I gotta get rid of the slipstream, but I don't even care because that looks good and it serves a purpose. Um, the seat's gray. Gotta clean it up. Still a little bit on the top. I open it all up on the inside and clean it up, but I still gotta clean this out a little bit. But I'm not even worried about the fact that it don't match the interior because I got seat covers for that. Thought I had a line on a black seat, but the person never came through. But it doesn't make any difference because one of my buddies, like I said in the beginning of the video, that lives close to me, he came through with a few of his JKs and had a seat to go back here and boom, this is what we got. Clean this thing up a little bit, throw that seat cover on that matches the interior and bam, we gonna make it happen, y'all. What's up, y'all? So I'm done with the third row seat. I like it, it looks good. Most importantly, she likes it. That's all that matters. It's got a purpose back there. I had to get rid of the slipstream, but it's all good because this will serve more of a purpose than the slipstream will. It's still gray. Um, I had actually ordered some seat covers to go on this, but they were too small. I Probably ordering seat covers at 12 o'clock at night wasn't a good idea. So I got to send them back and get the right ones. So we'll get some for a 2007 to 17 JK and we are gonna make it happen, make it look even better. So it's a good thing y'all. So if ever y'all looking, go online. You can find those brackets anywhere from Amazon to eBay to might even get lucky find somebody some own marketplace but either way get you some of them and uh put your third row if you need the extra room back there and uh get it looking good like this a few things i want to point out is that um the bolts the direction said they're 5 16th but they were actually m8s which probably due to because i just downloaded some random directions so the ones that actually went to these brackets probably said m8 but when you get ready to put these things in, just like anything else you do when you're working on a vehicle, make sure you got all your tools. Make sure you got the right um, bolt for your rib nut tool, for your nut cert tool. Uh, let's see, what else? Make sure you lay it all out. Make sure your measurements are right because what you don't want to happen is you don't want the seat not to fit in there after you tapped and put all eight bolts, in, well, 16 bolts for both brackets. You don't want your seat not to be fitting in there right because then you're going to be pissed because you done bolted it down and everything. So you just want to double check your measurements, double check your holes, everything that you're doing because you don't want no issues. So, well, that's with anything you do in a car. So that's all I want to point out. And if anybody's looking for a slipstream, if you don't know what a slipstream is, I might have to throw a picture up in at the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to have one for sale. I'm probably sell it like for a couple hundred bucks get rid of it but it's not gonna do me any good so I, mean, I probably could stick it back in there but I'm not going through all that I don't we weren't really using that much no more anyway so if you're looking for one I got one for sale probably like I said put it up for a couple hundred bucks matter of fact at the end of this video I'm gonna put pictures of a lot of stuff that I'm selling I got some J a couple JL uh, Jeep Wrangler JL for some of y'all that don't know what a JL is I know most y'all do I got a few suspension components for a JL and I got a few for JT Gladiator. Um, I'm gonna throw some pictures up at the end of the video and I'll throw some prices up. If y'all anywhere in Florida and you're close to Central Florida and you need one of the parts, hit me up. If you know somebody else that needs one of those parts, tell them to hit me up or you hit me up for them. But I'm gonna throw those up there. Anti way, your boy gotta go. Got other things to do. Got Jeeps to work on. So I will see y'all on the next video. Until then, y'all be safe. Don't forget to smile and go out and change your life. And if you can, change somebody else's life. Peace out, y'all.